How do you know it's time to change your steering rack or rack and pinion? Well, today, we're going to learn the symptoms of a bad steering rack, so stay with us until the end. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the purpose of the steering rack. It converts the rotational movement of the steering wheel into the side-to-side -side movement needed to pivot your wheels left and right. The steering rack is located in the middle, between the two front tires. Today, we'll be focusing on hydraulic power steering systems, so if you have a newer car, it might feature electric power steering instead. Now, let's take a closer look at the symptoms of a bad steering rack in more detail. Symptom number one, power steering fluid leak. Maybe you've noticed a fluid leak on the driveway when you back out or you find yourself constantly adding fluid to the reservoir. This leak could be coming from worn out seals in the steering rack. The fluid could be clear, pink, reddish, or brown if it's extremely dirty. If this is the case, it's time to replace your rack and pinion. But it's worth noting that the rack and pinion can leak power steering fluid from a few areas, at the dust boot and the power steering line. So if you see fluid leaking at the power steering line, it's okay. You don't have to replace the rack and pinion. You might just need to fix the power steering hose attached to that line. Symptom number two, instability while driving. If you're finding it challenging to keep your car straight on the road, constantly needing to adjust the steering to stay in your lane, it might signal trouble with your steering system. That feeling of the vehicle veering left or right when you're trying to drive straight is a red flag. It could mean that parts like the rack and pinion or the tie rods, which help maintain alignment, are worn out or damaged. In such situations, have them checked immediately to ensure safe and steady driving. Symptom number three, tight steering wheel. If you're finding it harder to turn the steering wheel, requiring more effort than usual, it could be a sign of trouble with your power steering system. A leak in the power steering system can lead to a decrease in fluid pressure, affecting the hydraulic force needed to move the rack from side to side. As a result, steering becomes more challenging and requires increased effort from the driver. If you're experiencing this issue, have your power steering system inspected to address any leaks. Symptom number four, grinding noise. Since power steering fluid not only serves hydraulic purposes but also lubricates moving parts, a leak in the steering rack can cause metal-to-metal -metal contact between the rack and the pinion. This increased friction will eventually lead to a grinding noise as the components wear against each other. Symptom number five, excessive play. Excessive play in the steering wheel means that there's significant movement in the steering mechanism before the wheels respond. This can be due to wear and tear in the steering rack or the tie rod ends, which connect the rack to the wheels. When you turn the steering wheel and there's a delay or a noticeable gap before the wheels begin to turn, it's a sign of excessive play. This can lead to a lack of responsiveness in steering, making it harder to control the vehicle, especially at higher speeds. Symptom number six, loose steering wheel. Maybe you've noticed a dead spot where you're turning the steering wheel, but the tires aren't responding. This could be caused by excessive wear between the pinion gear and the rack. Some systems have an adjustment screw that can help resolve this issue. Symptom number seven, burning smell. The rack and pinion can overheat when your power steering fluid runs extremely low. If you notice a burning smell coming from the rack and pinion area during an inspection, it's likely that the rack and pinion have already failed. Symptom number eight, steering wander. You might experience this sudden veering if there's significant wear and tear between the rack and the pinion. Over time, this wear can lead to looseness in the steering system, causing unpredictable steering behavior. So if you suspect you have a bad steering rack or rack and pinion through these symptoms, address it immediately for safety reasons. Consider replacing the faulty components with high-quality replacements. It's important to use OEM parts or trusted aftermarket alternatives to ensure reliability and longevity. Additionally, if you're not confident in your automotive repair skills, it's best to leave the job to a qualified mechanic for proper installation and function. 
The cost of replacing a bad steering rack can vary depending on several factors, like the make and model of your vehicle, the brand of the replacement parts, and labor costs in your area. On average, you can expect to pay anywhere from $500 to $1,500 for parts and labor. OEM parts tend to be more expensive than aftermarket alternatives, but they often offer better quality and reliability. Also, if other components such as tie rods or power steering lines need replacement, this can increase the overall cost of the repair. It's recommended to get quotes from multiple mechanics or repair shops to compare prices and ensure you're getting a fair deal. So there you have it, the symptoms of a bad steering rack, and if you find videos like this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so we can assist you. Fix it.